Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, I I am going to teach you the energy difference between two levels, and some of the levels are shown over here, starting with the N one, N two, N three, N four, N five, and so on. And the wave function is also displayed over here for the energy levels one, two, three. Four, five, and so on. So this we have already explained before, and in the previous lecture, I have also explained the energy, the quantization of the energy of the nth level, and this was the equation. And if you want to know how we have derived the equation, you must. Watch the previous lecture. So this was the final equation we have already derived, and in this lecture, I am going to discuss what would be the energy difference between two energy levels, from energy level one to two, or from two to three, or from three to four, and so on. So let's suppose what will be the energy of level one. And this is the because the value of n would be one, so you can take the square of the one; it will remain the same. So energy would be the h square over eight m n square. In a similar way, you can also calculate the energy of the level two. And here, uh, for the level two, the value of n would be two. So you can take the square of the two; that would be equal to four. So equation will become four h square over eight m square. So what would be the difference between energy levels? Energy level from two to one, and it would be the quantization of the energy. And this is the quantization of the energy. You can calculate the energy of any of the level by using this equation as well as you can also calculate the energy difference between two levels and this is a very simple formula you can take uh, the difference between these two level e2 minus e e1 and just i'm going to put the value of e2 e2 is here 4h square over 8 ml square e, e1 is the h square over 8 ml square as shown over here And when you take the common of uh, the h square over eight m square, what is left? Four minus one is left. Four minus one is the three, and this is the final equation. The energy difference between energy level two and energy level one. Similarly, you can do the difference in energy level between e three minus e two. So, uh, be remember. these are the difference between two adjacent energy levels adjacent energy level mean 2 to 1 or 3 to 2 or 4 to 3 and so on again by using this equation the uh, the energy of the level 3 would be like this because the value of n would be 3 taking the square of the Three that would be equal to nine h square over eight m square, and a similar way, you can take the uh, <clears throat> you can calculate the energy of the level two by taking the square of the two because the value of uh, n would be two in this case, and that would be equal to four h square over eight m square. What would be the difference? The difference would be e three minus e two, and e three is here. E two is here, so you, when you take the difference between these two energy level, again you can take the common of h square over eight m square, and what is left? Nine minus four, nine minus four would be five, and that would be the energy difference between energy level three to energy level two. In a similar way, you can calculate the energy level energy difference between E four minus E three. By using the same equation, E three is the 
by taking the square of the three, that would be equal to nine s square over eight m square. And by taking the square of the four, because here the energy level is four, because the value of n is four. So by taking the square of the four, that would be equal to 16. So energy difference would be equal to delta E minus, uh, delta E will be equal to E4 minus E3. And E4 is here, E3 is here. So energy difference 16 minus nine would be equal to seven. That would be the energy difference between energy level four and energy level three. And in a similar way, you can also calculate the energy difference between E5 minus E4 by taking the square of the five and by taking the square of the four, that would be equal to this. And 25 minus 16, that would be equal to nine as a square over eight times square. And uh, energy difference between E6 minus E5, it would be the same by taking the square of the six, taking the square of the five, that would be equal to 36 and 25. 36 minus 25 is 11. And the energy difference would be delta E would be equal to 11 H square over eight ML square. In a similar way, what will the energy difference between seven minus E six? By taking the square of the seven, that would be equal to 49 and uh, Square of the six is 36, 49 minus 36, that would be equal to 13. And this will remain the same, h square over eight ml square. And if you have a look at the final form of this equation, there is a difference of two with the odd numbers. So when moving from uh, higher energy level, uh, it, it's going to increase with the difference of two, nine to 11, 11 to 13. If I ask what would be the difference between E8 minus E7, of course, it would be 15 H square over eight ML square. Now, most importantly, what would be the separation between adjacent energy level with the quantum number N and N plus one? And these are the same N and N plus one when the value of n is one, that would be equal to two because one plus one, two. When the value of n is two, that will be three because two plus one would be the three. And this is the same what we have already discussed in the previous slide. So I'm just going to derive a generalized form of the equation so you can put any of the level to get the energy difference between its adjacent level. So energy difference would become E n plus one minus E n from the higher energy level to the lower energy level, because if it is one, that would be two and two minus one as we have already shown in the previous slide. So now I'm taking the square of n plus one and here the square of the n square, uh, because uh, here this is the higher level, this is the lower level, n plus one uh, and n as it is given over here. So by taking the uh, this whole factor as a common, s square over eight m square, what is left, n plus one square and minus n square is left. And this you have to open this one by using the simple mathematic formula, a plus one, b square will be to a square plus b square plus 2ab. And when you open this n plus one square, that would be equal to this n square plus one square, it would be one and then two n one, and that would be equal to two n. And just put the value of, after opening this equation into this formula, that would be equal to n square plus one plus two and minus n square, this minus and this plus are going to cancel out what is left, one plus two n is left. And you may also write just by rearranging this equation, two n plus one and multiply by s square over eight m square. This is another equation. There is no difference between these two equation here uh, this is the uh, the level which is where the 
translation motion or the transition of the electron is going to happen from energy level one to two. And N is the number of the carbon atoms. If there is a, a long chain molecule or the uh, uh, hydrocarbons will having the alternate single and the double bonds. So you can put the value of the uh, total number of carbons over here, then the answer would be the same as there would be the, uh, if you put the value of the, the energy of the nth level. And this I will explain in the uh, coming lecture by taking one of the example to calculate the difference in the energy. And this is a very useful equation to calculate the quantization of the energy level uh, from low to the high. <clears throat> what is the outcome of this equation? Very two important uh, conclusion are here. The first one is the this separation decreases as the length of the container increases. And uh, you can also <clears throat> interpret over here this is the length of the boss, this is the separation or the difference in energy, and uh, this is going to inversely related with the length of the box. That's why uh, if the length of the box is increases, then delta E or the separation decreases. So because the, both are having the inverse relationship. And of course, this is very small when the container has the macroscopic dimension. When the, the object is my macroscopic, that means the length of the box is large. Of course, when this is large, this would be very small. Second important conclusion is because you do the experiment at the laboratory scales, so atoms and the molecules are free to move in normal laboratory sized vessels. So they may be treated as their translation energy is not quantized <coughs> because the atoms and the molecules are freely moving, having the random movement in the vessels. So energy is not quantized. That means translation energy is not quantize and uh, this is the uh, because they are free particles moving completely freely are not confined within the walls so the energy is not quantized so these are very two important conclusions or the outcome of uh, this equation so in the next lecture I will be using this uh, equation to calculate the transitions or the quantization of the energy between any two adjacent levels by taking some of the examples of the hydrocarbons. <clears throat>